Welcome to another Erla lesson for 2B. Our question today has to do with these two words. And right, so what's this word? Happy, good job. And this one is try. Wait a second. They both end in the letter Y. So why does happy, this Y say the sound E, and try says the word I, the Y. Why? The question is, what does Y say the ends of the word? And if you notice here, this Y at the end says A, A, because it's with a vowel. These have a consonant, and then the Y that says E, consonant, and the Y that says I. All right, so I want you to watch this video. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Is this gonna work? And I want to show you this video, All right? And then we'll talk about why it says that or how we know, okay? Watch this. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys all heard that. Um, the question is, why are we learning about this? All right, so let's stop sharing. Well, no, let's just escape that one. Because it is very, very important for when we come to changing the endings from the Y to an I, E, it depends on the endings. So if we look here, when the Y says E, baby, you know, if they're short, they say I. That's easy. Right? This is an easy way to figure it out. Look at all these short words over here. Dry, fly, try, sky, fry, my, bye. They're all short. These longer ones say E. But when you're looking at babies and dries, how do you know, right? Maybe I want to say babies. Babies? Oh, I have the babies. It makes no sense. So how do you know? You have to think about if you're taking this part off right there, and there's a Y, is it a long word or is it a short word? So the reason why we're learning about what this Y says is because if we come to a word we don't know, this is one trick to help us figure it out. And sometimes you just have to try one way, and if it doesn't work, flip the vowel to the other sound and try it that way. Just like dry, dries, maybe dree, dree, drees, doesn't sound right. Let me try the other sound, let me flip the vowel. Dry, dries, that makes more sense. Okay. So this is a very short lesson today because we are going to be working on this. All right, it's berries for baby birds. I am going to make this even bigger. And we can tell right here, they dropped the Y and added I-E-S. But what do you think? Does this look like it was a short word or a long word? Looks kind of long, so what is it gonna say? It's not a Y anymore. They dropped it and changed it to an I because it's plural. We learned that with the S and ESs. So is it bear eyes or berry? 
good fairies for baby bye bye birds baby birds so this y says an e fairies for baby birds so let's read this see if you can follow along with me okay let's read it and we're looking to see whether the y say e or i a robin flies to the berry bush at the end of the yard. The berries are bright red. They look very ace D. Good work. All right, read this with me nice and loud. The berry bush is noisy with many other birds. Going. The robin worries that she won't get any berries. Remember our period cells to pause. She has a family to feed. Her babies are in a nest in the big tree. They are very hungry. The robin tries to take some berries. Another bird spies the robin. He bullies her until she flies away. I'm hearing a lot of I and E's in these. She cries out, but she carries some berries with her. She hurries back to her nest. The berries are like candy to the babies. So today I want you to practice reading this. We're not gonna um, record it, but I do want you to practice so you can really work on <clears throat> work on understanding the IES, which is really the Y saying E or I, right? Because they drop the Y, change it to an I, and add ES, right? Because it's plural. Absolutely good. So I want you to practice reading this for today. Right? It is in our bookshelf. If you go to 2B down here, it's the student pages and it is page it's not 23, <laughs> it is 26, all right, page 26, berries for baby birds. And then this is what I want you to do. One second. Okay, I had to pause recording because I couldn't find my pen. All right, so for your paper, I want you to write your name. This is lesson 10 for Erla. My Erla lesson 10. And then today's date, which is, let's see, this is going to be for Thursday. So today's Wednesday. Today, I want you to practice reading this. Tomorrow, I want you to write this. So it is going to be the 23rd is when you're going to upload this. <clears throat> okay, so we are going to work on the Y. It's kind of on this next page. Yep, the Y that says E. And the Y that says I. All right. That's just how I want you to sort them, like that. And you are going to use, and you're going to use this berries for baby bird right there. So the tricky part, you're gonna to have to listen very, very carefully. It's not just if it ends in Y, like baby. So let's practice with baby, where would it go? Y says E or Y says I? Louder. Good. Y says E, baby E. I hear the E. Baby. But wait, there's berries. That is, there's a Y. Remember they dropped it and added the ES? So berries. Let's see, where would berries go? And this is the part that. I don't want you to get tricked. Berry. Yep, louder. 
Good. Why is it E? So this is what I want you to do. You're going to write the word berries. Right? Write the word, just what it says. But then in parentheses next to it, I want you to write the word that it was in the beginning, the root word. All right, so let's see if I can give you one that says I. Help me find it. A rabbin flies. All right, so we're doing first couple for you. So fly, I. Which one? Where'd it go in? Say it louder than that. Which one? Good job. So I'm going to write it, and the Y says I, because fly, I. And it's flies. So flies is the word. But right next to it, I want to know, what is the root word? Flies. What if you take off the ending, the suffix? It is the word fly. There is that Y. Okay. So I want you to go through today and I want you to practice reading berries for baby birds. Okay? The mom really has to work hard to get her baby's food, the mom robin. Okay, so practice reading this at least three or four times to work with your fluency. Really get used to reading it, pausing at the periods. All right, and then for tomorrow, I want you to write down the words. I have a Y that say E and a Y that say I. If the ending is changed from the Y, I want you to write the root word next to it. Like berries, and berry, lies, and fly. Okay. So this is an ARC bookshelf right here. Making sure page 26 of the, let's go back through, the student pages. Finish all this. You're going to go through page 26. You're go through, write down the words, depending what the Y says, under which column. this and submit it on Thursday, the 20. On Friday, you will be doing an activity with all of these endings. And that's kind of review of all the inflection, inflectional. That's a tough word to say. Inflectional endings. E D E S T E R S E S. There's so many different endings, and we're going to kind of work on using them all on Friday. All right. I hope you have a great day. Make sure, let's stop sharing. Make sure, hi, <laughs> you figure out what that Y says and write it down. Have a great day. See you Friday. Bye.